Today, we're going to be repurposing leftovers into a yummy dish. So these are actually my chicken fingers from dinner last night that I didn't finish. And it's about a cup of them all chopped up. We're gonna throw that right in our crock pot. Perfect. And then these are my leftover french fries. I just roughly chopped them up. And this is almost a cup. I didn't have enough for a full cup. Put that right in with our chicken. And next, because we're making a dip, we need to add some creamy substances. So we're going to add just some regular mayo. I have a fourth cup of mayo. Go ahead and dump that in. Perfect. We're gonna add some sour cream, just original, and another fourth cup of that. Dump that right in. To make it extra creamy, we have some whipping cream that we're going to add. And I have pre-measured about another fourth cup of that. So we're gonna pour that right over. Perfect. All right, and here's my lovely secret ingredient. I love a buffalo sauce with my chicken. So I have about an eighth cup of buffalo sauce that we're going to add to give it that extra kick. A little Spice up your life. Perfect. Every dip is wouldn't be complete without some cheese. So we have a third cup of shredded cheese. I used, I think this is a, just a three cheese blend. And if you know my videos, you know I love garlic. And so we're going to add a generous heaping spoonful um, this is well over one tablespoon, but the recipe calls for one tablespoon of garlic. Great. Just to season, we have a table salt. We're going to add a half teaspoon of salt. And then a half teaspoon of black pepper. And if you like a really peppery dish, you can add more, but I'm just gonna stick to the recipe of one half teaspoon. Great. Now that everything's in here, we're going to start stirring that up a little bit. All that cream, those creamy textures like the mayonnaise and the sour cream, they're going to melt in with that chicken and just give us a really good dip. So now that that's all mixed up, we're going to cover and cook on low heat for about three to four hours, or you can go to high heat for about one and a half to two. All right, now that our buffalo chicken dip has had enough time to melt in that crock pot, let's go ahead and give it a stir. Ooh, look at all that creamy goodness. This is, this smells delicious. All right, let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm just gonna go in with tortilla chips, but you can use like Fritos, Doritos, crackers, Ritz crackers, anything you like. All right. Oh my God.